Cool, today we're doing the soul beams and soul and stuff like that. Basically stuff so we can walk. The floor. The floor. <laughs> yeah, let's get some floor in. I like, I remember from, from, from the starboard side, I was so excited because it just really opened up the boat and this is going to do the same. Right. Let's get onto it. I'll do it, do it again. So we need to be able to make this gap walkable, don't we? So good question. What we should do is revert back to previous videos. <laughs> now, right, what we need to do is put a piece of material right along, fore and aft, all the way down here to receive our soul beams, which are going to land on there. Then, so first we need to put the beam in across here. I'm going to say first, you need to move that bit of metal. Okay. That well, looks like it might be in just, the way. We're just going to cut the top off it here, and then we can continue the beam all the way down. And we're going to take the piece of wood out. Okay, demolishing time then. Right, so we've got these wires to sort out now, make them tidier. So we can then, we need to put a piece across here as well soon, so, cool. So we put a scarf on the end of this piece now, so we put some screws to basically hang it in position. So this is our, this is our height now we've got to deal with. Now Gemma's now at the end here. She's, she's um, describing the end of it, as we'll see now in a second. Beautiful. So now we've got like a little notch out there. So Gemma's used this, the divider, aren't you? The compass to basically just measure how much he's got to come off. So, yeah, so time to put that off. Wonder whether Leo would give me a job on Tally Ho. <laughs> Here you go, you don't need fancy chisels. Just need to grind. <laughs>
Bloopers. Hello. So it's now time to start working out the levels. So I'm wearing these beams here that we've, we're going to be coming across here. Because we don't want them too far down and too far up. We can't use a spirit level because we're on a boat and we're actually floating. So you can never trust the level on a boat. So what we need to do now is use a string line. But let's use a string line. What we're doing is putting some screws in. And then we're going to be basically measuring across the engine bearers. So get a nice level across them, and that'll give us a nice vanishing line going out towards the hull. On the hull. On the hull. On the um. On the engine bearer. Right? Yeah. <laughs> so now what we need to do is we need to check when that comes to there. So when that goes to there, then we know it's we know we want to follow that line because that's what we did on the other side. So we followed these engine bearers. Um, okay, so when that just touches, we agree that's touching there? Well, it's touching here, isn't it? Yeah. So there's no saying that this is perfect. So that is an ever such a slight movement of mine on this end. So I'll get it nice and tight, pull it along, and then use my left hand. Oh, sorry. Gemma just knocked me line. So that's there now. So I'm going to double check that, so I'm going to actually do that without looking at the line. I see there, and yeah, it's absolutely bang on. So you can see the line is there. Can you see it? Okay, so now I'm going to establish that line a bit so we don't lose it. And now we'll just keep moving along up to all these webs. I've cut um, all of the floor beams so now we just need to put the edge on them and get them all to fit perfectly. So what I've just done there is I've measured up for all the shuttering that goes against the hull. So our next step after the floor beams have been fitted is to get all of these cut and painted and ready for fitting. Okay, so all these now are um, pre-cut. So they're all like, got angles that way, that way. That's not, that's a square that, but so what we've done, we've made two here, and if you remember from the starboard side, where the board came along, then we wanted to join two boards together, like, you can actually see the remnants here of two boards together, under all that junk over there. So we've already preempted this, so we're always learning, aren't we? So now we can carry two boards basically, so yeah, right, we now need to 
make up some bolts. Um, get them all lined up, Joe will probably fix them here first, then we'll align all the ends up, then we'll precisely make it flat. Line. Even to eyeball that gem. Even when you like look down at all. Actually looks quite good. Maybe the camera doesn't do it too much justice, but yeah, I'm happy now. It's good. Okay, you happy? Yeah. Time to screw it off? Yeah. It's better than the floors in our house. Right, time to get these treated. Put your hair all the way. It's always blocking the shot of your hair. <laughs> you have enough, yeah? Yes. I don't have to do overkill. Yeah, like. again. <laughs> cool. <laughs> I'll your hair now. You could have drilled a bigger hole. Starting to question now whether I. Oh, what's that? It's Perfect. a bit tight, like, but. A bigger hammer as well. <laughs> <laughs> so you can't miss. Oh, it's all got glue on the other end now. I'm gonna get my hands dirty, aren't I? And we've got new gloves! We run out of bleeding plastic yeah, we keep, gloves. We keep saying, don't we, to get some gloves. Right, let's see if I can do this without. Oh! Why do you think I see you to do it? I know, yeah, I'm on to you. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay. Will it hold my weight now? How strong is oak? So cheeky. Right, you wanted to glue this I've one? I've already glued it, so all you've got to do is insert bolts here. Oh, look at that. Couldn't be in a rubbish job of filming, by the way. <laughs> I always forget when I'm filming. I'm a rubbish cameraman. You're just kind of like, you're looking with my eyes at what Gemma's doing, but then you should look through the camera. Because like, if you look through the camera, then it, you, know, you know you're capturing it, don't you? Wow, capturing the image. Right, I'm just moving down pretty fast here. Don't hang about me. Okay, we're all glued. Should we stop filming and we'll talk about it afterwards? <laughs> Go on, last one, right? we'll film. So we're using like threaded bar just to like give it a nice it's gotta go nowhere then isn't it? And it's glued. So should outlast us. Woohoo! We are one step closer. One step closer. <laughs> to having a full floor. Yes! Even just having beams to like walk on is easier than like having to like step, isn't it? Yeah. Do they flex? Review on it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, there's, there's no movement. No movement. No. Right, Robbo. I got you some um, workwear. Workwear. You got you got to fit in. Oh right. Some workwear <laughs> when you're around here. Oh, that's a good one, isn't it? Are you trying to say I'm offensive? <laughs> Let's show the camera. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. That's what happens every time I come here. <laughs> and we got you a nice hoodie too to keep oh, thank you thank you very much. 
That's definitely coming here, isn't it? Exactly, You've got to be insulted on a daily basis. Thank you very much. So that'll keep Robbo warm while he's doing some boat work with us today. And thank you to Shirtbox. If you want some funny cloven like us, go to shirtbox.com and use the code SHIPHAPPENS10 to get 10% off your order. There you go, what more could you ask for? Right, so Gemma's covering the bill so we can paint it, and then she handed me this. Looks like hieroglyphics. Um, so we're now going to cut all this out on this A4 sheet that we've got on the floor. So me and Robbo are going to try and decipher Gemma's script. <laughs> Could be a while. Ancient Scouse. Ancient Scouse language, this. <laughs> right now it's all falling apart. Right now you don't know where to start. Right now the walls are caving in Right now you don't know where to begin Right now you're searching high and low And right now you don't know where to go Right now So for now we're going to take some ballast off the boat because we're getting a bit overwhelmed with it. Um, so yeah, it's coming off in these, in these handy, handy buckets. And all the rest of the crap. And all the rest of the crap. We've still got a little crap down in the bow, but we're going to get rid of this first. So. Oh, this one's a bit oh, heavy. Yeah. Heavy Which one's heavy, sir? A ballast is heavy. I wonder why. I don't know. It's a four. <laughs> We have made all the shutter in, so you're going to sand and paint? I am. We have. We've done a test fit on them. We cut them out this morning out of a uh, big sheet of um, marine ply. So give them a sand, get the rough edges off. We've test fitted them. A couple that need a little bit of adjustment and uh, get a coat of paint on them. Okay. So I've spent all morning and most of the afternoon cleaning the bilge. Um, it's cleaned as much as I physically possibly can. My back is aching from being down there. But I've cleaned it all, I've washed it all, I've wiped it all, I've acetoned it all. Um, and it's ready for paint. I don't think I'm going to do these couple of sections right at the bottom. Because it's a little bit damp down there and obviously I don't want to paint over dampness I think that needs another couple of days to dry but everywhere else is perfect so paint your build time again for the how many times but the more I do it the less we've got to do so let's go okay I'm going to admit this now I am absolutely crap at opening stuff and Simon's just gone on a rubbish removal and I cannot open this tin of paint. So I'm going to say, Hempel, you need to sort this out because this isn't very lady friendly. Um, it basically says, stab a screwdriver to get rid of this blue ring, but you do that and you wreck the whole car. Oh, just... It, it, it just won't come off. You can't get a, a screwdriver up there. 
and I'm just literally smashing the whole tin in. So I've had a plan. I need some safety spectacles. Where's my plan? Oh yeah, grinder. Still a little bit more. That is just an awful design. Whoever designed that needs sacking. Please. Okay. So yeah, look at my little bashed in tin now. Right. Okay, mix and stick, give it all a good mix up. And uh, that was when he's put thinners in it. Add thinners to assist application if necessary. No, I don't think it is necessary, but. We got more paint on the floor. That wasn't me. Definitely wasn't me. <sighs> that was a really hard day. I am absolutely cream crackered. That's gonna <laughs> confuse the Americans, isn't it? Yeah, I think it will. <laughs> cream crackered, knackered. Yeah. Yeah. Rhyme and slang. Um, my back is aching. You've done a lot of. I haven't, I haven't actually been in the bills that much today. I've been quite blessed. I've been moving. Rubbish off the boat and stuff, so. I feel like I could yeah. fall asleep standing up. My back is aching. <laughs> but. Cool. One more bit of bilge oh, done. She's a good girl, isn't she? She's, 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 um, she's a beauty, isn't she? I used to. Yeah. <laughs> I'll surrender. <laughs> so it's working out. I was about to say, with a bit of makeup on her, she looks beautiful, doesn't she? <laughs> <laughs> I used to really like working in bilges, but the novelties weren't enough of it now. Well, we've to done be three of them up so like that. I think what, was I on the bow. what was really hard is because obviously the floor beams are in, so I'm having to like jump over each one. And then when I'm bend down, I've got floor beam in my back. Oh, it's probably good for you in future years. You know, like exercise, you're stretching. Flexible. Being a bit more flexible. Yeah, and yeah. Right. Anyway. There you go, the light's gone, everything's dying, I'm dying, so we're gonna go. We're gonna go, so. <laughs> Thank you so for much watching. for watching. Cheers, guys. See you all next week. See you later. Bye. Oh. So it's just the floors are cut out now, really, Ooh. isn't it? Fighting. Nearly there. Thank you all so much for watching. Please consider subscribing if you haven't done already, as it really helps the channel out. See you all next week.